But you can always tell when a manufacturer is serious about their product when they've wrapped it in brown cardboard. Should we, um, put a happy smiling family with perfect teeth on the box? What do you think this is? A toy company? Put it in brown cardboard. This is not a toy. This weighty metal beast will have burglars questioning whether it's a security camera or some kind of futuristic laser. And could take the construction of their cameras very seriously. This is a camera that you could bludgeon your burglars to death with. It is a rock solid lump of metal and it's going nowhere. It comes with a packet of poison and a CD in case you're a time traveler from the 90s. It is my first ever 4K security camera and it begs the question, why are Ring and Amazon and Blink and Nest not releasing 4K cameras? Especially when the difference in picture quality is absolutely astonishing. And the answer to that question is very simple. Rich people like money. And most cameras on the market today are cloud storage based solutions and the storing of many, many cats anuses costs rich people a lot of money. If for some reason you wanted to store your many, many cats anus pictures in ultra high resolution, you would need twice the pixels, therefore twice the amount of storage, therefore twice the amount of cost to the rich people. CORPORATE GREED! Nowadays, every company on Earth is trying to find a new way to squeeze a monthly fee out of you for blurry pictures of cat butts. But what if there was a way to get 4K pictures of cat butts and never pay these people a penny? Well, Anchor have sponsored this video to tell you exactly how that is possible. They literally wrote to me and said, Dear Paul, please tell everybody how to store videos of cat saucers in 4K resolution. They definitely said that. <laughs> you will find that the majority of 4K security cameras will not store your cat's anus on the cloud because your cat's anus is just too darn big. Instead, you will need to store your cat's anus on either a NAS drive locally in your premises or on a PC or on what's called an NVR. And we'll talk a little bit about what NVR is shortly. The big problem is with all of these solutions is how to get notifications to your mobile phone when motion is detected and get all the other cool features that you will get with a cloud-based solution. And I have two questions. Is 4K enough of a reason to go back to being a massive nerd? And two, have I said the words cat's anus enough times? So many cat sinuses. <laughs> Get to the point. We'll talk about how I'm achieving this in a moment, but I'm gonna take you straight to the good part. Side by side comparisons. This is the best wireless 1080p camera that I've ever been sent to date. It's the C3N from EasyViz. And this is the 4K Anker C800. EasyViz is absolutely exceptional for a 1080p camera, but look at these two images. They are absolutely worlds apart. And it doesn't matter whether you're looking at them through daytime or through nighttime, the difference is absolutely staggering. But the advantages don't end there. Because the cat butts are stored on my NAS drive or on my PC, there's no monthly fee to pay to anybody. On top of this, I can choose for myself how much space it's gonna take up. I can say record 24 hours a day for 30 days or 60 days or 90 days. So many cat sinuses. 4K is pretty big. You're not gonna wanna record for that long. But you see what I'm saying? I, I have the choice myself to decide when it's gonna start overwriting the oldest data. I'm not tied down to a particular plan that might only be 72 hours for five pound a month. I can also live safe in the knowledge that no Amazon employee is gonna get bored and then decide to log into my cameras to watch the exciting escapades of Paul Hibbert's back garden. It's not a concern I've ever particularly shared for an outdoor camera, but I do appreciate it bothers some people, and if that is the case, then local storage is the solution for you. 
The other nice thing about not relying on somebody else's server is that the notifications are likely to be much quicker. That is of course assuming that your internet connection is not powered by an aging hamster. I once again pit the EasyViz C3N versus the Anker C300 to see which one would give me a notification based on movement faster. And I want to reiterate that the EasyViz camera is actually the fastest I have ever had for sending notifications, but you cannot beat the speed of something running locally. You're going to need something to store all of those cat butts. I've set this camera up with both my PC and my NAS for testing, and it works flawlessly on both. For a PC, you just need to download some software that will allow you to record when motion is detected, obviously detect motion when motion happens, and send you alerts to let you know somebody is in your garden. The PC setup is really quite straightforward and there are two real key choices. Blue Iris is exceedingly popular because it's absolutely phenomenal. It's got so many different options that you're going to lose yourself in them if you don't know what you're doing. It is quite complicated, but it is the best software out there. It's also unfortunately 70 pounds. The second option is a bit of software called Agent DVR by a company called iSpy and it's entirely free. Therefore my favorite, because I am cheap. If you have a Synology NAS, then Synology's surveillance station software is remarkably well featured and is actually the easiest way to get remote access from your phone to your NAS to look at video clips when you're out and about on the move and vice versa to get notifications from your house to the outside world so that you can get notified when motion has been detected. A Synology NAS is actually probably the best solution, but unfortunately it's one of the most expensive, and we'll talk about that more shortly. If you already have a Synology NAS, I would get this camera now. It's actually one of the best solutions I've tried so far. The final option is to buy an NVR box from Anker directly. If they supply you with one of these things, it's definitely the easiest solution. It's a lot less nerdy, but it's a little bit less flexible too. It's also probably the cheapest way to get your cameras connected to something that will notify you when there's motion. It's definitely something to consider if you don't already have a PC or a NAS ready for this project. The nice thing about buying an NVR from Anker to store your cat butts is that it's standardized. It's a standardized solution, which means that if you buy any OnVIF enabled camera, you can use it with that NVR. First and foremost, this is a 4K camera, and 4K over Wi-Fi is too big too many pixels, we've discussed this already. The consequence is that it's a wired camera. This is the biggest downfall of a system such as this. You're gonna have to get a cable from your router all the way to wherever it is you plan to install your camera. The one good thing about this is it's a PoE camera. This means it can take its power over ethernet as long as you have a powered hub. If you have a power over ethernet hub to send the power over your ethernet cable, you'll only need one cable to plug into this camera. It's just gonna involve a bit of DIY. I hate DIY. The second problem is the cost of storage. You could pay anything up to a grand for a decent Synology NAS. A grand. A camera system is not a good reason to buy a NAS. If you already own a NAS, then the NAS is the best possible solution for a camera system such as this, in my opinion. If you don't own a NAS already and you're thinking, well, I still want to localize everything, a PC is probably the way to go. But I do want to give you one word of warning. If you throw eight cameras, all with 4K streams at your PC, your PC will probably crap itself. You'll need a reasonably powerful PC and preferably one that is separate from your daily life if you plan to put that many cameras all running 4K into it. So just bear that in mind. Just before we wrap up then, there is one more thing that I want to bring to your attention and that is that cloud-based services are in the cloud. That's an advantage. Because cloud-based solutions take footage of burglars being arseholes and then put that footage of them being arseholes on the internet, the burglar can't steal the footage of them being arseholes. 
The one disadvantage with a local system is that all of your stuff is stored where the burglar could steal it and laugh at you. And that's no good. I would recommend you put whatever it is you buy, whether it be an NVR or a NAS or a PC, in your loft, where it's going to be a bit of a pain in the ass for them to get hold of it. Whilst they're nicking all the stuff in your house, you could have a backup solution in place that is backing up footage automatically off to a cloud-based solution. This isn't hard to set up. You could have it still going to somewhere private like your Google Drive account, for example. But it's worth noting there is still an advantage to cloud-based cameras. Am I jumping ship to a locally based solution? I don't know. I honestly can't tell you. I keep thinking about it and thinking, you know what? I could put my NAS in my loft. I I've been wanting to do that for a while. I've got Ethernet all around the house anyway. It wouldn't be difficult to get Ethernet into the loft in a nice secure location. It probably wouldn't cost more than about 50 quid to get someone to drill some holes in my walls. Looking at my brother through a camera lens right now. I'm thinking my brother could probably come and sort this out for me and get me a decent 4K wired system that would give me the benefit of both local storage and I could set up a backup to go off to my Google Drive. I'm generally thinking 4K is way, way better to look at than 1080p. If I'm taking my security seriously, perhaps I should. This camera is basic. It can't turn its head, it doesn't have a microphone, it doesn't have a speaker. But what it does really well is costs £90. It's a 4K £90 IP security camera that does power over Ethernet. This thing produces better images than almost anything on the market. I'm not saying that because I've compared it to a bunch of stuff myself. If you go and watch the hookups video, Rob has compared this against eight other cameras. And that guy knows his stuff. He has ranked this number one for good reason. If you want a camera for this project, this is it. As usual, there are links in the description to everything you've seen in today's video. Go check them out. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. That will tell YouTube's algorithms it was a good video and more people should see it. If you want to see some more of this guy, hit that subscribe button and ding that bell. If you ding the bell, it lets YouTube know that you want to be notified when I upload videos. These amazing people here are my patrons from Patreon, and I love them dearly. They really have kept me going over the last four years, and I would not still be making these videos without them. If you want to be one of those guys, you can either do that at Patreon, or buy me a one-off beer at PayPal, and either way, I'll love you forever. These are my Facebooks and my Twitters and my Instagrams. Come and hang out there, and we can be best friends. I'll see you next time. <laughs> Shut up about cats' anuses, you weirdo. <laughs> Now what is this? What am I doing? This, ladies and gentlemen, is what it looks like when you uh, quit your job and do this for a living. <laughs> but it's worth noting that the... What? I, I turn into Prince Philip a lot when I cock up. <laughs> I'm not sure what that says about Prince Philip. <laughs> if you have a Synology NAS, then Synology's... <laughs>